Hello, welcome to Firefall Live. We have a great show for you today. I'm Faded Pez, or Frank Latiri, the Community Programs Manager here. And uh, throughout the show today, we're going to be giving out five digital deluxe. So that's a bunch of red beans, all the events, battle frames, the MGV, war paint, two titles, 90 days VIP, all kinds of awesome stuff. Um, as always, I'm joined, well, Sarah, Destroyer of Worlds, is back. Destroyer of Worlds. Back and with a vengeance and a new name. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Brandon's here. Yay. Yay I'm Brandon's here. here. How was your wedding? <laughs> it was wonderful. Yeah. It sounds cheesy, but it was the best day of my life. Yay. Yay. <laughs> and Polish community, help me figure out what my last name is because it's Wands, W O N S, but apparently it was shortened from something. And we don't know. Drake, what it was? Drake, help us out. Wonski. So. Drake Blaine, <laughs> all of Firefall.pl, we got you on this. Yeah, help me. <laughs> <laughs> there are lights over there. There's no lights. Oh. There are no lights. No. There are no lights. There are lights. <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea which light. one's on. <laughs> there we go. Let there be light. Although, uh, we we're getting go. some comments about low sound, so we'll check into that. Thank you for the. Uh, yeah, yeah, but this also sounds like it's typical. It sounds like it's something that's been going on for like two years. Oh. <laughs> Sarah Wands. No H. No H. No H. Oh, I think there is an H in my lower third. Whoops. What? <laughs> There's not? Oh. Oh. That's what they were saying. <laughs> They're nope. trolling. Trolls. Oh, we get to watch up here. Uh. Uh. I think they'll show you. Mm. Wait. Nah. Wait. <laughs> there are three the lights. Oh, there is an H! <laughs> <laughs> Epic fail. Uh, Epic uh, fail. Uh, That's mm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, like we said, back with a new name. Yeah. <laughs> <It> still counts. <laughs> Anyways, it's Friday. It is Friday. Firefall Live. And uh, so today's, uh, my eyes get a little itchy. Why? Uh, today's, uh, <laughs> I'm asking them. What? Uh, today's fire, today's uh, hot topics, we're going to talk about like the Kanalua loot exploit and the response, uh, more or less. So what we did was we, I guess we sort of rolled back in a sense. Mm. We, we, any of the extra items that you would have gotten uh, have been removed. The same with the Broken Peninsula voucher, uh, the extra vouchers, because that was ridiculous. Um, it took us a while to come to this decision because we were going back and forth on what we can and can't do. Right, and we, you know, we, we don't take any of these decisions lightly. No. And we have to sit down and make sure that, um, you know, this is something that we can do now. And then if there's an unfortunate circumstance in the future, we kind of sets a precedence for what we're going to be doing um, right. in the future. Um, but yeah, it, the decision wasn't taken lightly and mm -mm. there was a lot of testing to make sure our scripts would work correctly. And seems like it went off uh, exactly how it was. Um, uh, the script was designed to. Um, a few of you have mentioned that you had modules in those weapons, and you've reached out to the Ranger team, and they've been supporting you guys and helping out with that. Um, but ultimately, any time an issue like this is brought up, um, it's it's not taken lightly, um, and we have to really look at to see what the action is going to be, and and go from there. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Um, so, which also leads into the rewards thing. Um, so we have we have the exploit, and then people. It's this is this is not like this is a new thing, but it's it's been this kind of accented it where it's like rewards don't feel like rewards; they don't feel rewarding, and that's actually something we're actually looking at. And there's we have we have people just looking at the rewards, and for upcoming content too, and saying, hey, look. This is this is what we have to do with rewards. Right. So that's another big thing that we're currently looking at is how to make the rewards feel more rewarding. Uh, gameplay aside, I mean, I know you need to have fun gameplay and you need to have just a fun core game, but when you have that and then you don't feel like you have the the uh, the icing at the end where it's like I feel like I got some cool stuff out of this, then it it just kind of falls flat, especially in this you know in th the way games are today. So that's something we're really looking at. Uh, rewards are important, and we really have to look at the the time to reward ratio, and and make sure that the content you're playing through feels rewarded. So keep providing your constructive feedback on that. 
Um, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Broken 1979, they must be talking about thumpers. Thumpers actually is something, uh, I mean, that's something that I was talking to Phobos about at the very least, where it's like, we don't feel like we're getting enough out of the thumpers or something, but that's, that's also something we need to be looking at. I mean, it's not just the thumper rewards. That's not what we were, that's not what I was meaning to say, but it was more like the Warfront, uh, the hard mode instances, and those kinds of content where that's where we're looking at the, or the Brontodon King as seen on PTS. Mm -hmm. Many people say that's, you know, it doesn't feel, the reward at the end is like, meh, you know? So. Right. And uh, since we brought up Brontodon King, <clears throat> one thing we are doing is um, we had planned to put it out with our next patch, but we're actually going to hold it back uh, to continue getting your feedback on it and to uh, put rewards on it that really make it feel more rewarding. Yeah. Um, and I think that's important for you guys. Um, you know, rather than just putting it out there, is to really have some meaning behind it. Um, and same thing with uh, with Big Game Hunt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's that's the that's the big thing I wanted to cover today on uh, what's going on around the community. Obviously, there's tons of hot topics going on, but I want to like make sure that we're addressing them week over week. So yep. the sometimes the same things come up. Broken Peninsula is still broken. Saw that thread this morning. Mm -hmm. Generator still <laughs> despawned, and uh, that's something. And people said we need to hire better testers. That's something that's really hard for us to test because uh, we have few testers, actually, and they need to test everything. And there's, it takes about, I think, 100-plus takeovers before it starts to trigger a condition mm -hmm. like that, and that's why it always creeps up later. So... Yeah, it's hard to cover everything before it comes yeah. out. But we've been, like, as soon as we see an issue, we, like, programmers on that, I, yeah. I send an email out, and the, uh, the designers pop in and fix like that. Mm -hmm. Tech Ops can do a server-side hotfix, so that's just updating this, the script server-side, and then we, we cycle those servers, and then we got a fix in there. So that's, that's something where it's harder for us to test because we don't have even the amount of people that should be in yeah, Broken Peninsula volume. that work at the company. Right. Yeah. right, so that's that's extremely difficult for us to test. Yeah, yeah our, our testers work really, really hard. Yeah. Um, for anyone that's played other games and and seen, it's 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 similar in the industry. I have to say, and I'm not saying that um, that's a good thing, but um, to do regressions and full regressions for every single patch is just not it's not something that anyone really has the manpower to do. Um, unfortunately, for our big updates like our our 1.1 and things like that, you'll see them going through the entire game from start to finish, every little thing that you can do. Um, for anyone that's been in, in a QA or in, um, you know, has played other games, you you probably have run into similar things. So, But it's something that we can always improve upon, and we sure. are, and we can add things to our test cases that when we learn about certain things and we learn from it and go forward. But um, I think that our testers are doing a really good job um, we have a really talented team, uh, QA team, and they're hard at work to, you know, really test out everything that mm -hmm. we're putting out. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, as opposed to running, running down a list of, like, all the things that we know is broken and all the hot issues, we're just going to cover them week over week, yep. like, just like this. Uh, so that's not the uh, we recognize that's not the only issue that's bothering people right now, bothering the community. So we're, we're on top of what you guys are feeling, but we wanted to add a little discussion uh, specifically on rewards today. And uh, with that, I'm going to throw it over to Brandon for some Firefall news. Yeah, um, let's do a giveaway first. Do you want to do a giveaway? Uh, yeah, right. first giveaway for Digital Deluxe. Eh, keyword. Hmm. Sarah with an H. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All one word, Sarah with an H. Oh. <laughs> Josh, no? No, what? Twitch wants us to take a survey. Yeah, there's a box. It takes about ten minutes. <laughs> oh goodness. Everyone's doing it. Well, All right. Now it's to get it out of your system so you know. never do it again. Yeah. Get it out of your system. That's okay. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> She's plotting your death right now. <laughs> Destroyer of worlds. <laughs> okay, but your mom didn't want, so that's fine. My mom actually did uh for Christmas one year, she put an H on my name on my gift, and I'm an only child. I was like, really, Mom? Really? And she was like, I'm sorry, I was in a gift wrapping frenzy. I just wasn't thinking. Thanks, Mom. Lay Mom 24. Just kidding. Love you, Mom. Uh, 
so yeah, we had some news this week. On Monday, we announced Raptor Battleframe Weekend. I don't know where Epic here. Um, Raptor sure. Battle, huh? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is where the camera is. Um, so Raptor Battleframe Weekend starts at 5 p.m. Pacific today. It is uh, free to try if you don't own it, and a 25% um, discount on the Red Bean purchase price. Yay! Let there be light. <laughs> um, uh, Twenty-five percent discount on the Red Bean purchase price and a twenty-five percent bonus XP um, when you're in that frame. So Raptor Battle Frame Weekend, Frank, starts at five p.m. Pacific today and ends Monday, and then the sale portion ends Wednesday. So you've got plenty of time to jump in and purchase it. That is Raptor Battle Frame Weekend. Uh, we announced Night of the Melding. Um, yes. Event 2014 that starts next Wednesday the 29th and runs until Monday the 10th. Um, that's gonna be really fun. Uh, we have a whole entire events page for it, so you can learn about it and watch the video. Firefall.com/events/night-of-the-melding-2014. We got to come up with a quick link for that. But uh, check that out or just check out the blog. It's on the front page right now. I'll link you to it. Um, some really cool rewards. Wow, the pinhead mask and the ghostly rider mask. I love this time of year. <laughs> yeah. Did I just hear you read out an entire URL? Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Frank's That's like over awesome. here taking selfies. No, I'm, but... I'm, I'm, I'm posting on Twitter. Frank's posting on I posted Twitter. a picture on Twitter of the light Brandon's talking about. <laughs> oh. You can see that at firefall.com slash Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Never going to use that. <laughs> <laughs> the pinhead mask does look very awesome, though. Yeah. Uh, so, so is the the ghostly. Yes. The that ghost the sweet. ghost rider helm. That one is what so are we sweet. calling that? <laughs> ghostly rider. Ghostly rider. Ghostly, ghostly rider. Yeah, can't do the trademark thing. Um, and then there's some other cool rewards, and you can earn all the rewards just by playing each day. And there is a um, reward with a perk and a thousand credits for doing nine out of the twelve days of the dailies. Yeah. And you need to complete two scared citizen encounters and one headless. Horseman keep away encounter. And that one's really fun. Yeah. Uh, they're both very really cool. But. I think we did allow Shira to be on the Headless Horseman side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we had guest blog go up by Nalesa. That was awesome. Our second community guest blog was about becoming a mentor and how to be a mentor and what they do. Uh, so check that out on our uh, page. Really awesome, well written blog. Um, and if you want to write a community guest blog about any topic Firefall related, uh, shoot us a PM with the subject and we'll consider it and get it in the rotation. We really want to see at least one new community guest, guest blog go up per month. Yes, that's awesome. And then uh, yesterday we put up a reminder about the launch pack. So we're giving away the digital deluxe editions. Those packs are going away as of Monday. Uh, so dun, it's, your, dun, dun. it's your last chance to get that. And they're at a 40% discount right now, which is awesome. Yeah. So, uh, and the upgrade. So if you bought the starter pack, you can upgrade to the Digital Deluxe at a 40% discount as well. Pretty sick. That sounds awesome. And last but not least, I'll buy it again. Super excited. Um, we've got two community members supporting um, Extra Life this weekend with uh, streams. Um, Sex Baba? I don't know. Sex say. Baba? Sex Baba? I think it's Sex Baba. Yeah. <laughs> Sex Baba. Uh, I have a PvP. S E C K S B A B A and Armitage 3. Uh, they're both streaming Firefall uh, this weekend uh, for Extra Life. And they're going to do um, donations and all that goes to charity. Yep. And there's some even cool prizes you can win from them. Actually, um, Nakiato just canceled Sinful Sunday because he's also going to be streaming for nice. Extra Life this weekend as well at the same time. So. Cool. Awesome. Nakiato's awesome. Uh, both those start on Saturday at 8 a.m. Central. Uh, so that would be 6 a.m. Pacific time, I think? Yeah. Yeah. 6 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, for Sexba, every $10 raise, um, he'll put up 500 credits per manhunt during his event, and with a maximum of 10,000 credits per hunt, or 240,000 credits over 24 hours. Yeah. Pretty cool. So that's Sexbaba's, uh, stream. He's, yeah, he's putting up credits for... Yeah for amount donated, which is really awesome. Yeah. And his Predator event, I think he's going into, basically he's, he's dropping into Broken Peninsula and he's just going to try and survive. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's awesome. going to be pretty cool. And it's for a really great cause. So um, get out there and support your fellow Firefall players with extra life and donate if you have, you know, a few fair dollars. Any amount helps. Yeah. So it's for the children. Do some good. Them kids. Them kids. Counteract all your evil trollings. Them yes. kids. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, that's the news this week. Uh, on top of a few other things, we put up a new poll. Um, we um, the, the poll's Festivus about Athena. Poll. Hmm? 
Hmm? Oh, Athena. Athena. <laughs> it's not a Festivus poll. Sorry. Oh. It's not that time of year yet. Uh, <laughs> Athena, have you heard of it? If you haven't, mark that option. Or if you have, um, do you use it or do you don't? Um, go ahead, leave that, your feedback in there. And, uh, yeah. Every time I think of Athena, I think of the unreleased video. There. Of Dave Lee. <sighs> Oh, yeah. And Mason. So Have you guys seen that? Frank yeah. showed it to me, I think, oh, on my first day. He's like, you know, now that you're here, I've got to show you something that was never released. <laughs> and it is ingrained <laughs> in my brain forever. It's just funny because it's, it's uh, at, at, at the beginning, uh, my, my favorite part is you had Lee on there as Typhon. And he's like, who is little girl? Athena. <laughs> <laughs> who is this Athena girl? <laughs> but, it is uh, hilarious. Maybe one day. One day. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, Athena is, do you know about it? I, I was going to explain what it was, but it, the, that would ruin the whole poll. It would. Yeah. <laughs> so if you don't know about it, mark that option. If you do know about it, mark that option. There's two different options for that. And, uh, yes. JB asked, they asked winner. if you could link the poll. And we're asking And for, the, for the winner. And the winner. Winner. But we also want you to link the poll. <laughs> Calm down. Uh, also, feel free to suggest keywords so we don't have to use janky ones like calling Sarah's the wrong name. Janky? Well, oh, because it was wrong. Wow, <laughs> you just called her name Janky. It's not her name. <laughs> it's close enough. <laughs> uh... Armored Corpse. Armored Corpse. Grats. Grats. First code. We got four more to give away, so Yay. stay tuned. Four more. Cuatro mas. Can we have a code count? Can you, like, really quick put, like, a code countdown thing? Like a counter, how many we have left? Hmm. Marjorie, can you put one right here? <laughs> Surprise, can you please put this on here right now? No. <sighs> Goodness, hot all dog right. Hot dog license, you can't win. Stop, stop being angry that you didn't win. <laughs> hot, dog hot, hot dog license is my husband. Aww. <laughs> he already won then. Isn't that cool to be able to say that? Aww. Aww. <laughs> it, it is weird, it is weird saying husband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so hi, hot dog license. <laughs> Don't get me started on your name. So with that, uh, Brandon segued out, but right? He did segue mm -hmm. out. Yep. And so. that's the news for the week. <laughs> well, Ed. <laughs> we need to do, we need to come up with one of those, like, did you see that video? Yes. No, you know, like, no, do, no, do, no. Do, 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 do. When we do it during yeah. breaks, and then we'll do it for you live. If you haven't seen that video of the WGM reporters during their break, it is hilarious. Yeah. I actually didn't laugh one bit. I, I laughed. It's really cute. It's because you don't have, you don't have that kind of sense of humor, Frank. Come on. So to fill you guys in, you it like, was a. You don't like those people. It was a behind the scenes video of two news anchors while they were on um, commercial break, and they were doing this amazing like five minute secret handshake thing, and it was adorable. And Frank hates life, so he hated it. <laughs> don't hate it. It was cute. And now over to Frank. <laughs> Uh, so I pulled in Sorafix. Hopefully I can hear him. <laughs> we love you, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hate life. Do we have... Uh... I believe you do. Hi. Oh, we got you. Hello. Gotcha. How are you doing, my friend? Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Good, good. I, I think my, my volume is low, yeah? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Perfect, I can hear you perfect right now. Uh, great. Awesome. So I have two questions. Great. First question, uh, it concerns uh, the ARES job uh, boards uh, mm -hmm. and the, the missions from the boards. Yeah. Uh, why do we have to walk up to NPCs if we have SIN all over the <laughs> continent and we can just contact them directly <laughs> through SIN? Uh, some of them... Some of the NPCs really like that personal connection. <laughs> they, they really want to like they, they like the FaceTime, so they're they're very personal and they like to. It's it's kind of like those people that like have email at work, but they're just gonna walk up to your desk anyway and tell you something that they could have just emailed you. I'm I'm one of those guys. <laughs> so uh, so that comes from personal sometimes, experience. Sometimes it warrants <laughs> right. a face-to-face conversation, and sometimes you're just like, really, why didn't you just say yes? Please say no. That's all I needed you to do. <laughs> Even in the future, they're like this. I can't believe. Um, honestly, I think it's just part of the, like mechanics-wise. I think it's just part of the steps. It's like it's just, it's part of the game. Yeah, I understand that. But uh, why why have uh, this type of missions in the first place? It's just uh, uh, you know, it's not that I hate it or anything. But my friends they get annoyed uh, with it all the time. Mm -hmm. 
because it doesn't make sense. It's not consistent with the world, you know, with the um, yeah. lore. That makes sense, but at the same time, it's like you look at other MMOs, and this is what's been ingrained in players' brains, right? As you yeah, have to go to turn in. In in a sense, but I mean, the Ares mission, like per se, it's like go find the uh, go talk to Ratchet, right? Where she's also talking to you over Sin. So yeah. I, I kind of get what yeah. you're saying, um, but I th I think it's just like a matter of like adding that step in there to like get you to move so that you're not uh, stagnant. I understand like the desire might be to be um, to have like more and more combat, but I think it's a pacing mechanic with, within the mission itself mm -hmm. to kind of give you a lull and break it up between what you're doing. Yeah, and Drake brought up a good point that POI is a community hub, so it gets you to be more social. Um, it gets you to see other players around you and hopefully run into people who you can befriend or yeah, join your army point. or things like that. Yeah. So it's, it's the social aspect of it as well. Uh, I didn't see it from that point. All right, Stop thanks. Stop trying to break our okay. lore. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fair question and it comes yeah. no, totally, yeah, that's a great point. Well, my second question is kind of linked to this one, so I think the answer will be pretty much the same, mm -hmm. but... Why do we need to escort all kinds of people and, you know, <laughs> robots? You can just arc fold them. And you do arc fold them when they get stuck. That's so, the, you know. Yeah, that's the funny thing. Um, <laughs> I don't have a good answer for you there. Maybe. Watch, the, the narrative team is going to come back and be like, why'd you do that? Maybe um, arc folding is expensive and the accord really can't be bothered. So <laughs> we, we just need to. Maybe, yes. That's, that's all. Fair point. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, it's, uh, it, yeah, I mean, there's there's probably a story version that we could go through, but it's basically a, a, a game type yeah. uh, choice to have in the game. So that that's that's the, the real reason is that was a game type we chose to have as a job. Um, why are we escorting them? Uh, yeah, I mean, especially since we are for them now that they get stuck because we were having padding issues. Uh, in the early stages of 1.0, so now it's just like, okay, well, we're just going to art port them, and then you go over there. I think you still go over there, and they're still there, and then uh, if they're under attack, I think you still have to clear out the enemies. At least in my experience, I've had, still had to do that kind of stuff, but it's just a game-type decision that the uh, Ares team decided to have. Sarah equals lore master. Oh, that's a liquid. scary thought. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. It works for me, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Sora. I don't know if you guys know this, but Soro used to be, uh, when we had the original NCO program, he was one of the NCOs, and he actually flew out. Nice. Uh, two weeks after I started, we flew him out here with JV Will, like he was part of that group. Nice. So, cool. um, yeah. Is he in just, chat? Hmm? Is he in here? He was the guy we were just talking oh. about. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I can't miss the name. Really nice guy. Now we have uh, Ravisher from Masters of Combat representing. What's up, Ravisher? Yo, can you guys hear me? Yep. yep. Got gotcha. sure all the streaming and shit is off. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> okay, I've got a couple questions that are really kind of complaints. Okay. Great. From my whole army. Why does it cost us so much to re-perk? That is a good question. Uh, I think we, we need to... We need to look at um, how... doing respects and how that is, because right now it's like one red bean each respect. You do earn some as you level, but um, that's a good question. We'll have to sit down and talk about it. I, we, we did talk about this with, uh, I think it was uh, David Sievers a few weeks ago, or maybe a month ago or so, but I think that's something that um, maybe perhaps we need to have a look at. What um, My question back to you would be, uh, what, what would you think would be an acceptable cost for... Uh, perk respects? Well, I don't know. Some, instead of having red beans be the cost, credits maybe? Mm. Well, red beans. No, and that, I guess my next complaint would be why does it cost so much to module when there's so many different kinds of modules and stacks and things that you want to test and it eats up your daily credit bonus to module one time? Really quick to go back. Uh, sure. Before we jump on to that, um, right now I think for one red bean it's 108 credits. So um, it, that's that's you remember you can turn your crystite into credits and then your credits oh, do into a conversion. red beans and do a conversion to get your one red bean. So yeah. it's not 
I don't know if it's too, too bad, but it's something we can still explore. It, it, Jumping back. Yeah, the, but that also depends on how much people are testing out their perks and... <laughs> that's, well, it, it really I depends on like how much people are testing. The question and, from my army mate was, he said perks, but what he really meant was modules. Okay, so unslotting modules, why is that expensive? I think really yeah. the, um, the, the big reason for that is, you know, modules are, for the most part, fairly easy to come by. Once you get the epic ones, you're kind of set on what you have. So it's supposed to be sort of a choice because early on anyway, a lot of the modules are replaceable. Even when you get to the high levels, you put a blue one in there, that's eventually going to be replaced by an epic, but then you have to wait until you get the epic weapon. So that's we that's kind of more of a choice to ha to have for um, it's like a nicety to have right. to unslot the modules and we do need uh, some credit sinks in the economy and that's a, that's that's a large one right now we don't have too many as it stands um, we have the teleporting which I think we did a pull on and not a whole lot of people knew even knew about it let alone use, use it, it right. um, the reviving which I use a little bit but which I never thought I would. <laughs> um, and the marketplace itself, but that's not really a sink. That's more of a trade. Right. And some people, uh, some players I actually ran into uh, didn't know, but, um, and you may not already know this, but if you don't, you don't have to unslot the module to put a different module in. You can override the current module and just destroy the old one. So right. you don't have to right. pay to but unslot it. I'm talking it. about, you know, sure. switching out modules to try different stacks yeah, when yeah. you're in Epic Gear. Like, all my frames are in Epic Gear. Okay. Well, let's, that's feedback we'll, we'll pass along then. That's that's very so. Very I just good got army mates complaining, like, well, you know, we want to test this, but it's so expensive. I have sure. to wait. Sure. Okay. Yeah, well, we could definitely uh, pass that feedback along. My next complaint is founders' items. Mm -hmm. Why are we now giving out founders' items that the original players paid for, that kind of are an identity in the game? Which items are those? Yeah. The bike, for instance. Well, we haven't given out it's the It's now able to be purchased that was in one of the original packs. So the chopper, the, so the fa founders, uh, as we define them, are the people that bought, like, during when we first opened up the Red Bean store back in packs two years ago. Um, so those are the people that got the Locust Chopper. Even during that weekend, you had the Merch Pet. Um, what else did the founders get? The decals, the posters, the beanies. The posters and the beanies weren't exclusive, though. The the uh, decals and the tiki masks and the chopper were 100% exclusive. The Firefly Fest war paints were exclusive. The tiki thumpers were exclusive, along with the locust war paint. Yeah, but so the locust can't be purchased. Uh, no, that can't be purchased. Uh, though you may be talking about the ones we were giving up for red beam rewards at the end of last year. So the zephyr, the vortex, and the vapor. Are those the ones? Right, yeah, We I paid $100 for that pack, for that bike and the arc porter and everything that came with it, all the frames. Mm -hmm. Well, when we, were first, when we first started selling those, we always said that we would probably sell them again later on. So they were only limited. We never uh, wanted those to be exclusive items. We always They were just bonuses mentioned. in the pack for buying yeah. red beans. We gave it as a uh, way to support, like a way for you to get it much earlier than anyone else. But yeah, I don't think they were ever billed as exclusive. Because mm -hmm. um, that came up and I, I went back to try and yeah, find any information where it was mentioned that the no, Red that was, rewards No, that was exclusive. something we always said that we would go back and sell later on because there were people that were like, oh man, I'm gonna miss it this month entirely. Right. I wanna drop some money on that, so. Um, and what we found was, that, that was also under the old model of the Red Beam Rewards. So the old model of Red Beam Rewards was you had different tiers like you do now, but the first tier you got a title, the second tier you got a title and a glider pad, and the third tier you got this awesome cosmetic, this LGV, and all the other things. We found that that wasn't really gonna be a sustainable type of um, re monthly reward because it's a, it, after a while people, like you, you will have the collectors that want all the LGVs, I want all the glider pads, but after a while it's like, I have another glider pad, you know, cluttering up my inventory, I have another LGV, in my inventory, and it's just tough to get through all this stuff. And so David actually came up with the idea, Cloud Chaser uh, came up with the idea with the Red Bean token, mm -hmm. which you now get these special tokens for special rewards, and that's now the Red Bean 
uh, and that was the, the uh, migration of the old Red Beam reward system into the new Red Beam reward system. Okay, it was just a way for me to tell how long players had played mm. by their mm. bikes and gliders and things like that. That's fair. Okay, what about all the EXP bonuses I have I can't trade? I don't think bonus, uh, EXP bonuses were ever tradable. Oh, um, so you're talking about what to do with uh, excess XP even? Yeah, you know the little bonuses, the eight hour, one hour, three yeah. hour EXP yeah. bonuses? Now you can trade the resource bonus, right? But you can't trade the EXP bonus. We still have a resource bonus? Uh, I don't... Well, I have a ton of them in my invo and I'm completely capped. So I would love to be able to pass those out to my army mates. Okay. Because I want them in the vending machine. Sure, that's good feedback to have as well. Yeah, if they're from the vending machine, um, I think one of our things was if you want an item for the vending machine, you should be able to um, trade it at least. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll, well let Cloud Chaser know. I know that he might be able to look into that. And we yeah. can't promise that, that it will change, but I think that's good feedback. If can. I can see them not wanting to like trade the boost because you don't want to just like flood all kinds of boosts out there because we also sell boosts. Yeah. But at the same time, um, so I could, I could see a reason why you wouldn't be able to trade them. But, yeah, I mean, that's good we feedback to have. I mean, that's, that's something for us to consider, to look at and consider, yeah. for sure. You know, maybe make them where they're only tradable and not sellable or something. I don't know. It would be nice to give them out, is all I'm saying. Right, because sure. you're not able to use them. So I think that's, that's good feedback. So, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm done riding you guys' ass today. It's <laughs> all no, right, man. Hey, Thanks I'm, for calling in. No, we, uh, we appreciate it. Thanks for calling in, man. Let's do another giveaway. Another giveaway. Uh, second digital deluxe edition keyword. Sarah can pick. Keyword is spooky. 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 Perfect. Because I love this time of year. <laughs> Yay. Spooky. S P. I'm not looking behind me. What? Oh. Oh, look. I looked behind. Four me. giveaways left. I should have looked behind. I me. think um, giveaway is one word. You see, spooky. that's fine. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Spooky. I love we'll Halloween. We'll pick the winner after or in a little bit. Is it really one word? It's, yes. Yeah, it's okay. It's, it <laughs> She's like, she asked if it's really one word. <laughs> um, see, all you have to do is ask, really, and they get it done. While everyone, uh, all right, I do want to get to you today. Spooky, spooky, spooky. <laughs> That's not grammar, that's spelling. Someone said that I call me a grammar. <laughs> uh, while we're waiting for everyone to type in spooky, spooky. I pulled in Ganos Lal. Ganos, what's oh. up, dude? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> I hope uh, that all go well with you, too. Yeah, yeah, everything's great. Okay, I am here today to you uh, to point out that the activity of the Chosen in New Eden has uh, decreased rapidly compared to beta. Mm -hmm. It feels like the children are gone. Although you had indicated to increase the VGN, I realized none of it personally. And I think that's a shame. It's Attacks coming. The chosen. It's, it's coming. It just hasn't happened yet. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, I've type. seen it. Okay. I've seen it in person. It's coming. <laughs> it's happening. It's, it's just not on live yet. So stay tuned. Yeah, that's, that's okay. it's something that's being worked on. And uh, we definitely will be uh, up in the ante in terms of chosen uh, activity in Coral Forest and Sertao. Yup. Faux show. Sure. <laughs> you there? Ganesaw? Oh. He's so excited that he <laughs> ripped right out his off. microphone and started away. flailing around. Yay. <laughs> the Chosen, the chosen are, are coming. User in your channel, timed out. Uh, he oh. he DC'd, okay. We're just going to say it was from excitement. He, he DC'd from excitement. <laughs> Do we have a spooky winner? Spooky winner. Spooky. Spooky winner, spooky winner. Did that camera just die? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> you got Renata coming in. Okay. Gennesaw's not going to be recovered. That's fine. We got his... We Shimrod. 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 Congrats. Congrats. Three giveaways. Hey, look, she got it. Three giveaways oh. left. Three giveaways left. It's not, but that's okay. It's, we love you. It's not that big of a deal. MBB. Aw, hey, don't be mean to your fellow winners. Jeez. 
Damn. Damn. It's getting Karma. hostile in chat. What's up, Rodino? Hey, Frank. How you doing, man? So, as I told you a few weeks ago, I started a support feedback. Um, yep. And so a couple things came out of that. One of them that I thought was really interesting was that enemy projectile speed was reduced uh, a little bit into patch 0.6, mm -hmm. and it keeps coming up um, in a whole bunch of different areas in the forums in terms of, like, difficulty and teamwork and how basically, like, enemy chosen in particular can't actually hit players because we move too quickly. But... It, I feel like movement's in a good place. It's just that chosen bullets are too slow. Um, like, the new faction, the Orifim, are fantastic. Like, their Orifim commanders uh, have decent range and almost, like, hit-scan speed weapons. Um, and uh, so, uh, if we could have more enemies like that that, like, are harder to dodge than, like, people would have to, like, work more together in terms of, like, healing, uh, shielding, putting down shields, um, mm -hmm. and, uh, I don't know, mitigation as a, in terms of perks are crap compared to movement speed perks, because avoidance is so powerful in Firefall right now in terms of the effective health meta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's all good feedback to have, um, we are also planning upgrades on chosen units. So, yes. Uh, to, to make them a lot more fun. So mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's coming too. <laughs> Probably not at the, the same time as the other stuff, but the, the, all this stuff is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, the other thing that came out of it was um, sort of pretty much everyone agree. Like, we disagree about shielding. Shielding can stay a flat amount, but healing... Um, should probably switch to percentage based um just because that will counter some of the like effective health disparity between the heavier slower larger uh hitbox frames uh and the um lighter uh smaller lower health frames because like if you make it into a percentage heal you hit the smaller frames for less health and the larger frames for more health and that offsets the fact that the smaller lighter, faster frames have more uh, avoidance and are hit less often than the heavier frames. Because right now, um, a, a lot of feedback that's coming up is like, the dread frames are, they have like some of the lowest survivability compared to some of the other frames. Um, which dread frames? Because <laughs> uh, I just want to know which one specifically. Because I know the rhino is still has the the rhino is being its own thing broken. <laughs> well, let's not talk. The rhino is in a separate <laughs> issue right now. Let let it's a uh, the assault, the mammoth, and the base accord dread. Um, it's oh, just the like arson, there's yeah. a lot of focus on sort of mitigation perks, but. Uh, mitigation isn't nearly as valuable as movement in terms of survivability in Firefall right now because, again, projectiles are slow. So if yeah. you make healing percentage-based, uh, having high health means that the health that you get hit, the healing you get hit for um, has higher effective health because it will scale with your max hit points. I mean, that's, that's definitely worth exploring. Um, there could be reasons why that I don't know why we wouldn't do that. Um, and that could be a balancing issue on the healing side of things, but um, it's worth exploring and it's worth uh, talking to. David uh, Rogers, actually, our brand new combat designer. Yes, I was gonna uh, say. We have, we have a brand new combat designer that just joined the team, by the yeah. way. Um, we'll, inter we'll get him introduced to you guys yeah. soon. Uh, uh, yeah, we're just letting, he just started this week, so <laughs> we're just letting him like, Although he's played, he's got like hundreds of hours in Firefall so far, yeah. like before starting, so, uh, which is cool. Um, but yeah, that, that's something that maybe, you know, we'll have him have a look at, see what he thinks, what he likes, what he doesn't like. Uh, all great feedback to have. So we are taking, we have been taking balanced feedback and this kind of feedback that you've been providing. Uh, Soup, Shapiro, uh, and many others, uh, guys from AOD have been providing this kind of feedback to us. And we've been bringing it to the designers every single time uh, a lot of changes were made based on this kind of feedback. So 
this is it's important for you to keep bringing us this feedback and we will 100 yeah. percent keep bringing it to uh the design team to see what they think all right cool um in i, I know you guys are talking about the Kanaloa mm -hmm. loot fiasco <laughs> um if you, that's putting it mildly <laughs> <laughs> um so one thing that in terms of like loot systems i for, Frank, uh, Frank and um, we, we've talked about modeling it after uh, other MMOs, but in terms of not changing the loot table system... I saw um, your thread on this, and there, yeah. are, there are some counters. I mean, you reference one instance, but I, can, I have like three other, four other instances I can counter that with that follow the exact same rules. So. Are we talking about Crystal Tower from Final Fantasy XIV? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, that that's what I've been more more talking about, like okay. just recently, because I, I I was just like, you know, if you guys don't want to change your current loot system and loot tables, whatever, that's fine. Uh, the way that Crystal Tower worked in Patch Two Point One was that you could run the raid as many times as you wanted, and you could roll as many times as you wanted. But once you won a piece of loot for that week, you were no longer able to roll. That's pretty cool. Um, again, it's, you know, it's something we'll have to look into to see if we're okay with that. Um, I, th I think, you know, there's, there's right in that there, there are antiquated systems. Maybe, maybe we need to evolve, but um, we also need to make sure we're regulating it because it's, it's pretty much the best stuff you can get. Mm -hmm. right. uh, so we need to regulate it a little bit. Um, though being, being open to this kind of feedback and making changes based on it is not something that, uh, it's, it's definitely something that we're uh, about. So we're not gonna just sit there and be like, nope, we're not listening to you because, because you like it and we hate fun. Like some people think we think like that, but. Um, we wouldn't be making a game. If we're, we we're <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, no, I totally get that. It's just that right now I only spend an hour playing Firefall every week, and I used to play like five hours a day. I log on, I run my raids, and then I'm just kind of. Would you? So if you got done. those items, would you still play five hours a day? Yeah, totally. I would be in Bane Claw every night trying to get like my Bane Barrage model, like my uh, modules, and I'd be trying to like I'd be running every week trying to get at least one piece of loot. I have, in terms of, like, loot I have to get from each boss, like, I have almost, like, a month and a half's worth of loot drops I have to get. So if I'm only getting one piece every week, mm -hmm. then uh, I still have to play for two months. And if I have to... If I can run these bosses over and over again to at least get one drop a week, that means that I'm running those bosses, like, every night. Maybe. I, that's what happened in Final Fantasy XIV for me. I tried to collect my uh, full um, Crystal Tower, like, light tanking set. And uh, there was one week where I was trying to specifically get the helm. And so I just ran Crystal Tower over and over and over and over and over, just trying to win that goddamn helmet. And I could see the same thing happening with, like, the Kanaloa sniper rifle. Perhaps. Uh, again, it's good feedback, so it's not like we won't pass it along, and we're, we're, we'll definitely see what the guys have to say about it. But um, can I do a quick key keyword giveaway? Yes, we do okay. need to do a giveaway. Uh, you get to pick the keyword this time. I get to pick the keyword. <gasps> oh, jeez. <sighs> Broke. 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 Yep. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> Payday's not till next Friday. Frank's broke. I'm, uh, B -R -O -K. I'm broke. That's the keyword. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Rona, I'm going to let you go, but thank you very much for providing that feedback. Um, we're definitely going to be passing that on. So, and you know, the threat, some of the threads you're making are are great, and they're good discussions to have. Definitely. So, um, keep having those discussions, and we're, we're we're totally listening to you guys, and we will pass that on. All right, man. Have a good one. I love you guys over at Red 5. Thank you, man. <laughs> We're going to try and get through all the callers today. Dang. Seriously? 
Well, we only have two more. Lane one is one of them. Lane. Lane. Hey, guys. Hi. What's up? Lane created the Blaine Pez army on PTS, just like I, I, he's the one. He's the one who delivered. I asked someone <laughs> to do it last week. Lane delivered. Yeah, I had it done right after the stream. <laughs> you get a and actually, cookie. it is also now on the live server. <gasps> That's where I was looking for it. I just quit Doom so I can join that army. Hey, so. come back. Okay, I Jay just the leader, set so. it up. Cool. Now, now, as far as in PTS, I don't know. You know, programmer might be the officer for a while, so you might have to be nice to him. <laughs> I'm always Never. nice to programmer. That is tough he's, to do. Yeah, oh, he's a good he's, guy. He's such an awesome person. Yeah. So, he really loves this game and the community and the team. Yeah, he he's amazing. he's super passionate about it, yeah. all the stuff. Really he good guy. What's what can we do for you today, though? Um. Well, I was actually curious on the you know progression with the the Bronto Don Hunt or the Bronto Don King, excuse me. Uh, I know we've been testing it out, and I did agree to. Uh, wait, I'm getting bad feedback. Oh, I'm not hearing anything. So, I, I okay, now I heard him about okay. uh, about Bronto Don King. Yeah, we he oh. paused the middle in the middle of his question. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I was going to check in on that, and I heard, of course, you guys talk about covering the whole that we're still working on it. And uh, yeah, I also had posted too about the rare hunt. Mm -hmm. so, um, so yeah, we're we're holding those back um, again because we want to work on a reward system for them to make them uh, feel like you um, put in quite a good effort and got something really cool out of it. Um, I believe we're also adding more um, creatures to the big game hunt. Are That'd we? be cool. Um, I, I didn't hear yeah, that. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> definitely looking forward to seeing something like in Sertao and in the other areas. I definitely, because yeah. I've been streaming the hell out of that lately. It, I can't confirm or deny. I thought should, I read something. We should make one of them lean. <laughs> I thought Just I read like something that we're looking at since we're also holding it back for rewards that we're going to have some time to add in more um, creatures to hunt. If anyone from... The crew is, I know we've got some of you guys in chat. If anyone can confirm, I think that's what's going on. Plans, that's the thing with game development. Like, plans change constantly, um, and a lot of that comes from player feedback. So, um, yeah. I think that's what I heard. Deny. Yeah. Uh, but we'll definitely, I think what we're planning to do is put out um, another dev blog um, about those two and talk about the updates, the rewards once they're ready. And also the additional creatures, if there are additional creatures. I think there may be. Word. <laughs> also, I did have another question, too. Um, now, with the uh, starter packs, the deluxe and everything being taken out this week, uh, will the ones that we have still available to use for giveaways be available past yep. that date? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Those okay, codes so that you guys have mine don't on expire. Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those codes you have don't expire. Or... Oh, Those okay. don't have an expiration date. Yeah, so we actually will still probably be able to give away a few. Yes. But uh, you which won't be able awesome. to buy them, which is cool, because like you can't even get these anymore now. So, but still. OK, cool. That, that was one of my biggest questions I had today. I'm glad you asked. Yeah, I um, definitely got a few PMs from players who um, had codes for their live stream giveaways. And they're like, oh, no, do I need to do it? No, 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 you're good. Seriously, Nas confirmed. Codes don't expire. Thank you, Nas. Love you, Nas. Miss you. Oh, uh, Nizul, eight more big game hunt creatures are moving over to PTS. Yay! Dave Lee confirmed. Yeah, Dave. Ask and you yeah. Thank you, Dave Lee. That's, I thought I read that. So yeah. thank you, Thunderclees, for not confirming yeah. or talking. Yeah. So eight. I thought I knew I read it somewhere. So eight more. I didn't know the exact number, so I don't want to give any exact number. So yeah, going to PTS pretty soon, uh, or not? Going to PTS next once ready. I don't know when. Soon, TM. Sometime. Are we going to be messing at all with the uh, the melding event coming up, or is that just going to go straight to live? That'll go straight to live. That'll go straight to Aww. live. So for some of the seasonal events, um, we'll put them just on uh, straight to live because we want them to um, not get worn out before the event actually happens. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> but a lot of those have gotten um, extra play tests from the company and things like that, so um, it should should be good to go. Okay, cool. Well, that's all I really had for you guys today. Cool. All right, man. Have a great weekend. Thunder, please.
Josh, why are you laughing so hard? Because in the questions of the, of the day, the giveaway winner is your last question person waiting to <laughs> Wait, what? Hey, Crazer. <laughs> hey, give me a second. Guess oh, what? Did, hey, you, hey, you just won a digital deluxe. <laughs> did we roll the winner? Oh, That's really? Did I? Yeah, you yeah. won. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh. I look over Yay. and I see, I see JB Will like cracking up, and I'm like, what is he laughing at? <laughs> Turns out you're the winner. <laughs> nice. Let me mute my phone real quick. Cool. <laughs> All right, so. That's exciting. You just. <laughs> <I was curious. laughs> cool. Great. Cool. Great. All right, are you getting an echo over there? Uh, uh, not so much. I was when I was speaking just for a moment, but it's gone now. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. All right, I'll be careful with the push to talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can live through it. <laughs> All right, so first off, a question I got from the community, actually. Okay. Uh, will there be power-boosted gliders in the future, or is it just supposed to be a nice VIP bonus? Like, uh, can will there be obtainable... Uh, gliders with that attribute, or is it only ever going to be the VIP one? That's ever is hard to yeah. say. I think for now, uh, it's definitely going to be a VIP uh, bonus, just kind of like a little extra something for, you get for becoming part of the VIP program. I don't think uh, we plan on adding that to anything else. But you can't get the Icarus updraft now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and... My, one of my questions, when will we finally see some legendary items? Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Maybe when we make them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the uh, player-created weapons, are those going to be legendary? I don't know. You know? I still have to schedule well, to sit down. <laughs> but. Um, and this was actually a question that came up when we had the guy who was making a lot of the jobs on, and will players be able to create jobs in the future since it's so easy? Ooh, I see. That's something yeah. I asked for, right? Because it literally is like anything can cook, anyone can cook, but it does require access to our internal tools, which opens up a whole can of worms, right. which that's something that we've been talking yeah. about for a while, like with user-generated content. But That doesn't mean that in the future there absolutely won't be um, a UGC feature or, or, or something like that. Maybe, but, but there's yeah. that there's a lot of considerations that need yeah. to be made first. We couldn't uh, just it probably is set. easy enough, though, for anyone to really create jobs. And that's something I, I suggested um, to them a while ago, where it's like we could even do something where it's just like, you can even all do it like UI driven. So it's like you go to a job board and like at level 40 and you're like, I need a low B to get me these items. Go get me some like, oh, go thump me some iron and go get me some like, some of this like biomass and uh, turn it in and I get it. And then I give you a Christite. Like that kind of stuff would be awesome. Right. Another <laughs> yeah, thing I was actually, that's what I was thinking. That was, that would be really cool. Another thing that um, actually Frank and I, I think we spoke about, um, was maybe doing a contest where uh, we can do create a job, um, like in the form, like you design a job and then um, if, if we can do that, then we actually make it and see if we can get it into the game. I so. don't think we spoke about that publicly. Oh. I think we barely spoke about it privately. <laughs> well, <laughs> However, I think, I think that would be a fun, <laughs> well, not confirmed. I think it'd be a fun contest to do, um, is run a contest with the community where you guys like, submit it in the forums or whatnot, and you design a job, and then um, we can hopefully one day make it. So if, if anything, it could be like, oh, design a job. You know, we do, like, fanfic contests, fan art mm -hmm. contests, but maybe uh, you design a job, and then one day, hopefully, we can implement it. It's mm -hmm. just an idea. So that, that actually sounds really cool. That would be, uh, I mean, I'd just love to do some really convoluted jobs like really just weird objectives and you know to have the excuse well red five didn't make it <laughs> everybody's yeah, calling, so it's okay everybody's calling for the next keyword to be confirmed i go for it <laughs> let's do it let's, let's put up we got two more left anyway so we can do this one and then we'll do one more after our awesome. segments i know awesome thank you marjorie so confirmed, and then we'll roll after uh, in a little bit. 
So, All right, and I have one last quick question. <laughs> right. uh, we we question brought up the uh, uh, min Mac, the um, LGV garages a couple weeks ago, I think. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering, the, the only really subjects that were brought up are, are like custom paints and stuff and visual, but will we have the opportunity to do like min maxable stats? Uh, maybe. Like, I'd love to have an LGV that goes really fast for like Sir Tau, but mm -hmm. one that's maybe a little bit better at turns for Devil's Tusk. We we kind of do that now with how the um, like we have. I don't know if we'll be able to like min max because we went down that road before, and I think um, we found that we were creating stuff a little too complex. However, um, we have the construct of uh, low health, media or average health, excellent health, or good health and excellent health for an LGV or same with same tiers with speeds and same tiers with uh, ramming ability. So I think you probably we could maybe do something where we mix and match, but we kind of already do that. I don't know if we'll be able to like you'll be able to like tune your gears so that you you'll have like the super fast one. But it's like if you have a premium LGV now, like that's your like that's your super fast one that's got really low health. And that's the fast one for Sir Tau, where you have like the XLR, have, which yeah, is XLR, not as fast, not but has fast, a little more health. A, more health. Ouch. a lot of feedback coming through. Feedback coming through. <laughs> yeah, my mic's not open. It's not, not on my end. Hmm. That was weird. <laughs> Spooky. But, yeah, no, I mean, I just, I would love in places as big, and frankly, since Sir Tau still doesn't have a whole lot going on, I mean, it's better, but not super filled in it's right now spread it's just spread out yeah I, i'd love to have like sacrifice a little bit of turning ability if i could get you know 10 more kmh or something like that yeah it's good feedback i don't know if we'll wind up going down that road but it's it's, it's good to think about mm -hmm. makes our brains ooh, ooh, or maybe like a boost mode a temporary mode where that had that effect, and you couldn't turn very well while you were in boost mode. Stay tuned. Something like that. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Thanks for calling in. Christine. Yeah, have a great weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Too close to the truth. Oh, no, cut him off. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got the stream. That's good. <laughs> Well, we are we are getting we're we're a little over time right now, so we we do have to move on. So yeah. have, really, yeah. have a good weekend. Thank off. you for finally getting to me. Yeah. Thank, yeah. You. Thank, Thank you. you, and thanks yeah. for the uh, deluxe edition. Yeah, you congrats. It, nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's pull our uh, confirmed winner. Let's confirm this winner. Confirm the confirmed winner. <laughs> Thank you. Benier. 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 Congratulations, man. All right. All righty. Shall we? It's on you. Time for Do You Even Art Brosafina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stalling, stalling. Time no! For... <laughs> there we I go. I will huck something at you. Do, Do you even <laughs> art? <laughs> All right. <Just> so, <laughs> this week the theme was weapons. Because oh, who yes. doesn't love weapons? Oh, I wear yep. them on my hands. That's right. Um, there are all forms of weapons. Huh. So, our first. We had a fan art challenge called Weapons, and these are the results. Yes. Um, so, the first one, we have an entry by Thuni. Thuni! And this is Sin Blades. Sin, Sin Blades. I love it. The flames. Yes. In the Accord logo. In the old school Accord logo. Yeah. And the Sharpies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I always cool. love seeing Thuni submissions. Second, we have by Bandit Leader. Bandit Leader, yeah. Oh, Bandit Leader. We have. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's got the, the bio crossbow in there, and it's like, wait, is water the weapon? <laughs> no, I think those are stink lines from poison. Oh, I thought, poison. I thought it was like water. I, th I think it's stinky poison. <laughs> it's very clever. Yes. Either way. Love it. Next, we have from Legend 57, 
SMG. Check it out. Legend 57. And he said SMG. that he did this. This is an old piece, but it was perfect for the challenge that he submitted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Next, we have Rooster 128 with Biogun. I forgot what he actually called it. I called it Biogun. Oh. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it reminds me so much of like the goo gun from uh, Unreal Tournament, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so 3D awesomeness. Yeah. Even the lighting. He's, he's coming a long way with his uh, modeling there. Yeah, it's awesome. And then, finally, we have Fox Run with Smart. Oh, yeah, the, the, the Smart SMG. Now, he actually made a rotating uh, GIF of this, and mm -hmm. I wasn't able to show that with, like, we weren't really, really able to show that with the TriCaster, so took a still, but if you look at the, if you check out the thread, it's like a nice Well, the animated. thread, actually, it's, it's not animated anymore. What? They, uh, I'm assuming Fox Run replaced it with a, like, a, a still saying, and it, like, crossed it out, and it said, like, do not steal my weapons or something? I don't know. So Aww. I went to check it out, and I was like, oh. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I pulled all this stuff yesterday afternoon, so uh, he made a, it's, a, it's a really nice wireframe of an SMG, though. Really cool. Really, really cool. All right. Well, one vote for everybody. And I'm going to have to go with Rooster. I really like Roosters. The goo. I'm going to have to go with Rooster as well. It was very good. Rooster 128. Yep. Going on to October's finalists. Now, there are five weeks in October, and in the U.S., we celebrate Thanksgiving at the end of November, mm -hmm. so, which only gives us three weeks in November for Fridays. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to cap off October this week. So there, there, there's four entries for October. And then next week's entries plus the first three weeks of November will be November's Do You Even Art Bro. That way, we're on target. It's fair for everyone, the same amount of entries in each poll. Yeah. Uh, not five and three. We'll actually have four and four. And I think we're going to be doing the uh, the tournament wow. right before New Year's, probably the right after Christmas, actually. And um, we are kicking uh, Frank from the show, unfortunately. He will not be allowed to join us in November. What? Okay, he's going to be on vacation for every Friday in November. That's true. Every <laughs> true story. Friday. Yeah, he's gone every single every, Friday. Every Friday. So I have the, the, the first Friday off, right? I, I took that as a personal day. And then after that, I have two weeks off and then Thanksgiving. So, oh. <laughs> so it's like I'm missing it. every Friday. Even though I'm there for like the first half, I'm just missing that one Friday. And then I'm there for the first half of the month. And then I'm taking vacation. It's going to be the Brandon and Sarah show. Yeah. And we're going to come up with a hand clap. Better yeah. than those WGN newscasts. I'm not coming back. Your loss. Oh. And and someone said that we sounded disappointed when we were voting for Rooster. You jerk. We are super excited for Rooster. <sighs> yeah, I guess I'll vote for Rooster. Seriously, amazing. Why? I mean, look at that. The lighting, Why do you guys the texturing, you... the modeling, the emissives. I mean, come on. Please submit better art so I don't have to vote for Rooster. No! Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. It's funny. They're just hearing now about the, uh, what I was just saying, the Thank delay. You. Forgot about that delay. Yeah. yeah, he's welcome back if he wants. If he wants. He wants. Oh, my God. I think we need to get it to caption this. <laughs> Do we have another giveaway? <laughs> Sarah said emissives. Oh, my God. Are you surprised I know what emissives are? Come on. Wow, Sarah said emissive. That's the key word, emissive. Emissive. <laughs> now everyone knows what emissive is. Let's do it. Uh, Frank? Frank? Oh, we Frank. read, Sarah Van. We read. <laughs> so. Reading is OP, but we do it anyways. <laughs> emissive. Yeah. So this week, for caption this, actually is a photo from last week. We took a bunch of photos. And Mika's <laughs> like, I'm going to get behind this, the, the, the window. So Mika was actually, we, Mika and I actually went to Copacabana, and we were just, like, chilling awesome. over there. At the Copa. While Brandon was on the couch, I think, <laughs> trying to hear something. I love it. So that's this week's caption this. First, why is the resolution off? 
Did I save these on a bad resolution? Yeah. Frankerton. I blame Bradley. That's why it looks so scrunched. It does. Yeah. Uh, Minox. So tall. Probably <laughs> chewing on the power cables. <laughs> or Minox probably chewing. It's a good, it's a good reference. <laughs> I loved it. This was my favorite reference ever of this week. It's over my head. Is it really? Yeah. Really? Me too. Oh my God, everyone out. All right, let's go. <laughs> Empire, next. Empire. What's Empire? Empire Strikes Back? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I think it was Empire, was it New Hope? I'm pretty sure it was Empire. I, yeah. Thank you. My bad. I almost had to get out. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I almost had sorry. to kick myself out. <laughs> I'm a Star Trek guy. <laughs> And I'm a Battlestar Galactica girl. Did Burt Reynolds pose like that? <laughs> Can we get that picture up there real quick, Margaret? I'm just kidding. Uh, Morgan Freeman, is is that you narrating my life? How awesome would it be, Brandon, if Morgan Freeman was narrating your I, life right you now? You know, uh, one of my favorite actors, Morgan Freeman. He was also to that guy. <laughs> I love him. Next up, uh, Aries 3-5. Can you hear me now? Good. <laughs> I gotta say, my, my, one of my favorite parts of this picture is the Pika's facial expression right now <laughs> on that. What? I don't know. I thought that one was better. I don't know who picked this one. Next. What's the button for wipers again? <laughs> 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 Everyone's debating their favorite sci-fi show now. I know. Next up. I'm I, so I, this ashamed. Is nerds. I love it. <laughs> Frank Flakes, we have reports of crazy devs in your vicinity. Please approach with caution. <laughs> <laughs> they are a little crazy. <laughs> Very crazy. Next up, we have... Sorry, was amazing, by the way. Uh, SG-1 Atlantis. The universe was pretty good. What's Why is the, everyone trying to out-fanboy each other? Calm down, everyone. Calm down. Can't hear you, bro. Arrow is talking in my head. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Do we have another one? Yep. We do have another one. What? What dirty shoes on your couch? Come again? <laughs> hey, shoes my aren't shoes dirty. aren't dirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the other one that we were looking at. Lurking that was heads. the that was the other picture. I like that picture better. <laughs> <laughs> right. Half head, half a head. Uh, oh my goodness! All righty. Well, they're all winners. I love those. Yeah. Yes. Caption this every week is a lot of fun to go through and read and. <laughs> Yes, F -yo F -yo couch. Couch. <laughs> Buy a new one. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Buy a new one, Eddie Murphy. <laughs> uh, did we pick our winner? No, we did not pick a winner. The winner, chicken dinner. The winner. The giveaway is for a digital deluxe. Anyone who said Star Trek was better gets a. No, just kidding. Oh. Wow. Easy 79. Easy. 79. Congrats. Cool. Congrats. Congratulations on your new. Code. I know that guy. Digital Deluxe, you did? Yeah, we're pretty good friends, actually. That's awesome. Yeah, he's a really good guy. Yeah. All Congrats. right. That's awesome. Well, I think uh, with that, that was our last giveaway, right? Yeah, oh, look at, look at that. This Congrats, baby. winners. So say <laughs> we all. And it's... <laughs> no. We're both, him and I, are big Star Trek fans, so it's really funny that I said that and then he won it. Empire. Star Trek. Star Trek. Star Trek. Empire. Star Trek. All right. Star Trek. So with that, we're going to end today's show. <laughs> Halloween you, next Friday. Special Yay! Firefall Live. Spooky. So I don't... We have a special Firefall Live. Yes. Well, we're going to be yes, in costume. We, we are? I'm going to be in costume. Are you? No. Oh, never mind. I'm not going to be in costume then. Dang. Oh. oh. I wasn't going to be in costume. Oh, well, I didn't know if we were supposed to keep it a surprise, but yeah, I actually am going to be in costume. Yay! Oh, well, I was going to be in costume. <laughs> you are? Frank. I don't have one. Frank. Frank. Party pooper. Um, Derek has a big burger. Costume, you want to be a burger? <laughs> you could be a poop sock. 
Oh. We couldn't go one show. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. All right, cut it. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Follow us on all the social medias. <laughs>